Right guys, how are we going? Um, I want to go through this time pretty much some LNT tips. Um, so we've got the LNT set up here. I know a lot of our customers now um, are using LNT because it's a completely offline system. You don't have to upload fields with internet. You can work completely offline. No, no internet needed at all. So a lot of our customers are using this now. Um, there's a few tricks, uh, a few tips that we use uh, on when we're using them uh, that can help guys. So we thought we'd chuck a video up here uh, to make it easier for you guys to see um, you know, what, what works good and what doesn't work good with the LNT. Um, so obviously, it's completely offline. You don't need any SIM cards. There is a SIM card slot on these. Uh, don't put any SIM cards in these. Uh, they connect to the internet via Wi-Fi uh, when you do connect them later on. Um, so you don't need any SIM cards in them. Um, in your package, in your LNT package, you've got uh, the actual LNT doesn't have a battery in it, so either you connect to a drone battery, uh, not many guys do that because obviously they're an expensive battery, um, or in your pack you'll have a uh, 12 out, uh, cigarette plug, a 12 volt uh, outlet. Uh, so we connect ours to our truck, or some guys connect them to like a little power pack sort of thing. Uh, so as long as, it, um, as long as it can run all day sort of thing, uh, it's fine. We don't find they use much battery at all, like we've left ours on overnight multiple times in our truck and have no issues with uh, running batteries flat or anything like that. They don't use much power. Um, <clears throat> so it plugs into the adapter here, so like a few guys, like the actual 12 volt plug plugs in there, then it goes to the actual LNT because this is, the, uh, this is a volti regu voltage regulator, so uh, even if your truck or a lot, I know a few guys are running the truck set up so they're 24 volts a lot of them So this will reduce it back down to the I think it runs off 9 volt from memory um, So that just clips in there. We'll run this one off the battery today for this um, A big tip with the LNT Never turn the, uh, the, the power source off before you turn the LNT off uh, Otherwise you can wreck some of the internal sort of computing systems in that so whenever you do turn it off, turn the LNT off first prior to turning the battery off or turning the key off on the truck or those sort of things. We have done it in the past, our LNT still works, but XAG recommend that um, you always turn the LNT off first prior to the battery. So they do come with a little stand as well. Uh, some of them are mounted uh, in, you know, in, if you have the bigger antennas on top, you can mount them um, permanently inside a truck or a car or, the, or a trailer or those sort of things. Um, get in contact with this if you need the bigger antennas. These ones are a basic uh, antenna. Uh, some countries are very strict with their um, frequency laws, so XAG brought out these smaller basic antennas. They work roughly a kilometre, um, which isn't huge in some circumstances, so we do have the bigger antennas that we fix permanently to you know, a trailer or a truck or those sort of things. So you get, you know, we've worked 8K and they're still very good range sort of thing. Um, so yeah, the antennas obviously just screw off and screw on so you can, um, if you do have the fixed ones, you can put these on if you want to go out and map out a field or something like that manually. Um, so that's them. Um, underneath here we've got a few different, um, a few different uh, plugs. So obviously you've got your main power plug. Um, that only goes one way, so if you're trying to push it in the other way it won't work. So just that goes in that way. Um, you've also got Underneath this rubber bit, usually that's plugged in there. I don't, I've got it unplugged at the moment. Um, that's a bit of your, um, so you've got a reset button there. Um, if you want to do a hard reset. The hard reset is, um, it takes about an hour to do. It's only, don't do it unless recommended by XAG. Because it does take a bit to do. Um, we've also got a few other bits, HDMI's, a LAN cable, and also a USB-C cable that's for doing updates to the USB-C. So you, in your pack, you'll get a little um, USB-C to USB-A, I think it is, adapter. Um, so if XAG says, um, you know, we've got a uh, update, we want you to put into this, it's a hard update. Uh, all you do is drag that file onto a USB, USB like little uh, USB, uh, what are they called, little port. Then you just plug that in and then it'll do the update automatically. So we update them all before they leave the shop, but say, uh, you haven't used it for a year, um, there's a new update available, you just plug that in and you can do it like that. So that's that USB-C cable there. The on button's underneath, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it on now. So we turn the battery on first or turn your key on for the cigarette lighter or those sort of things. Uh, the battery turns on, so we just do one single press. See the lights come on. So we've got a few different lights on here. 
So the first light is obviously your power light. Um, you've also got your, um, uh, I forget what that one is now, I forget what it's called. Anyway, your second light across, that's just, um, pretty much you need three lights on to be, for it to work properly. Um, or fourth light where the cloud, the, the second from the right, the cloud icon, that's internet. So it doesn't need to be connected to internet to work. Um, but if you're wanting to do, you know, updates to your drone where you want it connected to the internet or something like that, then you just make sure you have it um, connected to the internet. So it's going to start its initialization. XAG say, you know, five to ten minutes. So for it to do it, because it's a fully offline system, it's got to know where it is. It's got to initialize everything. That's just the price we pay for a fully offline system. So we don't have to drive somewhere where there's service and those sort of things. But in saying that, it doesn't slow us down at all. What we do is, as soon as we rock up to a job, this is the first thing to go on. So we rock up, this goes on, we turn it on, we set it up, or if ours is already mounted in our truck permanently. So we just turn it on. Um, everything's already hooked up and everything like that in our truck. So while we're, you know, if we have to mark out the field or if we have to um, mix up cam or by the time we get the drone, usually by the time we get the drone out, this thing's all ready to go. It doesn't usually take that long to initialize and those sort of things. But you will find, so you now we've got the two lights and the third light's nearly done. So what you'll find is sometimes some guys try and rush into it really fast. Like all the lights, you'll have three lights on there. They think, righto, all good to go. Um, then you'll go onto your app and it'll say no network because see we've got three lights now but we find even though the three lights are on still wait five minutes sort of thing give it time to fully initialize otherwise it'll come up a no network so pretty much all you need to do is restart the app wait for it to really pair and then it'll work so a lot of guys rush in there really quick and try and do it but pretty much you're going to be setting up your drone you're going to get your drone out you're going to do all that anyway so turn this on first let that initialize don't rush into it too much or if you do if you do restart the actual lnt make sure you give it time you know five ten minutes sort of thing to actually reboot and those sort of things so now that's all good there we'll put that on the stand it doesn't need to be outside this doesn't need to have satellite it doesn't actually pick up any satellites this actual system so you can have it inside like in our setup we have it in our truck inside um, and then we have the antennas on the roof so as long as the antennas are if you're using this you might have to put on the roof to get better signal because that's what your drone talks to um, but if you are um, if, if you do have the larger antennas and they're they're fixed on top of your truck or trailer permanently um, yeah you can just have that inside now a big thing we're finding with these LNTs if you do have them outside or even inside on a dash they do heat up so that's why they do have the cooling fins on the back but we're finding if they heat up you will have problems so that's a big issue where operators are ringing us up and saying oh it's disconnected from the rtk um you know uh the drone won't go in rtk mode or something like that what we're finding is we ask them right oh well where's your lnt oh it's sitting on top of the roof in the sun it's 35 degree day and I'm halfway through the day and the LNT is hot as hell. So, you know, it'll work all day, but then as soon as it heats up too much, you're gonna have issues. So keeping that LNT cool is the main thing. It's like any sort of electrical equipment. As soon as it heats up, you're gonna have problems. What we find, we if it has heat up too much, we'll wrap it in a wet rag or something like that. Not so that's wet, wetting all the components, just to keep it cool. Take it out of the sun, doesn't like being in the sun. Um, where even some of the guys are even like putting them in little cooler bags sort of thing to keep them cool. After you, when you, if you can keep them cool, they'll work perfectly. So um, keep them cool, you won't have any issues. Uh, as soon as they heat up, you'll get like it'll go that you'll have troubles connecting the drone to the RTK. That's what we're finding because this is what everything talks through to. Righto. So we've got all that set up now. Now we're gonna go over to the phone. Now we're at the phone. So what we're gonna go through is pretty much once you've got all your LNT on, this is how you're going to connect to the LNT. Uh, well, it, your phone or those, we would have already paired all your devices up to the LNT when we sell them. So you don't have to worry about that. But what we're gonna show you is how to connect the LNT for, to the internet for updates and those sort of things. So pretty much um, you can see ours is already connected here. So it connects to the LNT via Wi-Fi. So we'll turn that off. So pretty much you want to go to your Wi-Fi, 
make sure you're connected to it. It'll be called, you know, XAG something something. So that's ours connects automatically because this phone is linked to the LNT all the time. So at the moment, it's connected without internet because we don't have it connected to the internet. So if you're going to go out on a job, <coughs> it wouldn't you wouldn't want internet pretty much. So even if you do have internet in that area, it's best to operate without internet so you don't have you know, updates halfway through the field and those sort of things. You don't want that. So pretty much now we're just going to go to the app. So this, what we're doing here as well, we're actually running off the new, the new. Um, I think it's uh, the version 29 from memory with the LNT. That's what its new update is. So some of these guys, some of you guys that are watching this video might still be using the version 18, uh, which is the older one. It's still okay. There is a, We have been trialing this newer one now and it is working really good. So if you talk to your local dealer or um, uh, get in contact with it, any of the guys um, we should be able to send you <coughs> this new this new update so what we'll go into we go into the device page so you go on to me and then device and you see with this new update now you actually have the LNT listed on your device page so we don't have any drones linked on this this is a brand new device this is a brand new one we're just setting up for a customer but you'll see You've got your ACS2, which I don't have on, your RTK, which I don't have on, and now you've also got your LNT. So you can actually see some some info on your LNT here. So you can see, um, you know, it's not connected to the internet at the moment, so it's not really going to tell us much at all. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to connect your LNT to the internet. So all you're doing is, I'll get out of that, sorry. So you go up to the three little dots up in the top right-hand corner, you click on them, you go LNT network configuration, you click on your LNT and we're already connected to the LNT. So we just go connected. Then it'll come up to this page. So as any XAG device, they all have the same password. So it's when XAG was started. So 2007-0401. So 2007, the fourth month of the first day. So all you do is log in. <clears throat> so now what we're, we're in the settings of the LNT. So we can change the name if we want. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about touching it because all your devices are linked to that. So if you change that name, none of your devices are going to work. So you'll have to repair everything. So I wouldn't worry about changing the, uh, the, the LNT's name from when we set it up. Um, so you'll see wireless connection at the moment. We can't go into it. So some of you guys that are operating on the old one, you'll be able to just go straight into wireless connection and then you'll be able to do what I'm going to show you soon. But with this new one, this new update, it always, it, it, it tells itself to always work offline pretty much because they know in the past they've had a few issues where you might be close to your internet source, but you might be still far enough away where you don't have very good internet source and it starts to mess things up. So what we do is we just keep them all offline now. So pretty much we want to turn, you see up the, where it says network mode, you've got WLAN mode and you've got WAN mode. So WLAN mode is an offline. So if you want to go to WAN, that's where it'll you'll make it go online. So pretty much we're going to go to WAN mode. We'll go OK. We go got it. So this one is actually, it's already paired to a internet source because I've used it in the past. But I'll show you how you can change your internet. So we'll go two zeros because it's logged us out now because it's gone into internet mode. <coughs> oh, it's still trying to find it. All right, there we go. So now you'll see this wireless connection has come online now. So this is where, so say if we if we set you up one already, we can, um, it'll already be linked to our internet. But what we want to do is change it to your internet when you get home. So all you do is turn it onto the WAN mode over at the router setup. Then it'll log you out. Then go back into it. And now you can go on that wireless communication. So this is where you would choose your local internet. So this is a Wi-Fi. So um, if you have, it's linked to our main Wi-Fi in our workshop here. But say if you wanted to link to that Telstra one, all you do is click on it, input the password for your Wi-Fi at home, uh, and then it'll link to your Wi-Fi. So you'll see now too, also, that, that third light has come online now. So I'll show you up here. So now the cloud symbol, it, that means it's actually connected to the internet. So now that you're connected to the internet, pretty much you can, you know, go back to your main page. You can check if you want to um, connect to the internet, um, you know, connect to, uh, or you are connected to the internet. Check for any, um, uh, say, if, say if you're wanting to, uh, 
do some updates to all of your devices if you've got some free time or something like that. Then now you can go in and check uh, if you've got any updates because what it's going to do is download all your updates. It's good though not to do it straight away because the LNT is now connected to the internet. So what it's doing now is it's actually uploading all of your data, your offline data to the cloud. So all the jobs that you've done, all those sort of things, it's, t it's transferring all that data to the cloud uh, and it's also downloading data for all of your firmware updates, if that makes sense. So you'll actually see, hang on, I won't do that. Um, so if you go into this data sync, you'll see, <clears throat> see how it's account info and operational data. It's uploading, it's uploaded all that uh, because I didn't actually have any on this account because it's brand new. And firmware centers, you can see how it's download, it's syncing all, all the data for it. So pretty much you want to leave it on. What we normally do is every every few days of operation, we'll just connect our LNT to the internet. We'll just leave it on overnight. So we just leave it connected and then, so it's all connected to the internet and then we'll just leave it on overnight. So it downloads any firmware and it uploads all of our data because we might do a few hundred hectare in a day. So that's a bit of data that it's uploading. So we just leave it on all night. Um, doesn't hurt it. That's what XAG recommend as well. Every so often just leave it on overnight. Um, connected to the internet. <clears throat> so pretty much now what you would do if you left it on for an hour or so, um, you'd go into your devices. I don't have any of these on, but you can just go in, go firmware update and just update any any info there that, um, that <clears throat> update any devices there that need to be updated. We'd normally recommend if you are going to update one device, update them all because sometimes they'll put in a, um, a firmware update for one thing and then if you do that one thing, then the other things won't talk to that, like the RTK. If you do an update for the RTK, maybe the RTK on the drone also needs an update as well. So if you're gonna update one thing, it's best to update it all, if that makes sense. Righto, um, that should be about it. Uh, if you have any questions anyway, flick them through and um, yeah, we're more than happy to help. Cheers.